Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, the four things high quality men secretly want from you. Real quickly, before I begin, uh, if you're new to my uh, YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell wherever it's at. And certainly I would really appreciate if you post a comment, if this content resonates with you, if you have something to say, hit like or post a comment. All right, let's get started. Those four things high quality men secretly want from you. Um, real quickly, before we talk about high quality men, because I'm, I'm not sure I love the term quality, but what I think we're leaning into when we say quality, and I think most women would appreciate the idea of what I'm about to share in the following, is a quality man is someone who's emotionally mature. They know what they want in relationship, and they're certainly going to put the effort into creating a healthy, happy relationship. So when we talk about quality, we're talking about someone who knows what he wants, they're gonna put effort into the relationship and they're basically an emotionally grown up person, they're emotionally mature. And what they're seeking in the sense is the same thing from a woman. So these four things that uh, high quality men secretly want from you starts off with boundaries. Now, what I love about boundaries, and if you're not familiar with Brene Brown's work, go Google Brene Brown after this video, but she says it basically like this. Boundaries is what's okay and what's not okay for me. What's okay and what's not okay for me. And what we, we actually appreciate boundaries because in a way, it says that you are independent. It says that you have a line that we can't cross. And we men will sometimes push the line and a boundary says, hey, we're not going to, you know, you're saying we're not going to cross this line. And I'm talking about immature behavior. But what we appreciate about boundaries also is that element of what's OK and what's not OK. And I think that's one of the healthy ways to approach your love life with having healthy boundaries for yourself and for him to have healthy boundaries of what's OK and what's not OK for him. OK, number two is that you take personal responsibility for your choices and you have victor consciousness and not victim consciousness. Sadly, I see this with so many women that if you've been hurt in a past relationship, and I can understand how that can be frustrating, but I've gone on dates where I could literally see behind the woman I'm going, sitting down at the table, every guy that's ever hurt her, so she's feeling, you can feel that energy of victimhood and then it shows up because she's oftentimes talking about what went wrong and blaming the other person without taking personal responsibility for her own part in the ending or a failure of a relationship. And while certainly men can be culpable, I think when we take ownership on our part and say, hey, look, I'm not a victim of this experience. In fact, I learned and I grew from this past relationship. When you can say you can learn, you learned and grew from your past relationship, you're actually stepping into one of the sexiest qualities both men and women are attracted to. And if you're not familiar with my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? I go into this concept of personal responsibility quite a bit more. Now, the third thing men really appreciate in a woman is a woman who can express her feelings who can express her feelings. However, it's in a non-confrontational way. Oftentimes, we, the, one of the fears men have from women is that you're going, is the old adage, hell hath no fury, like a woman scorned, but let's take it a little bit deeper. It's that oftentimes when you're expressing your feeling, it's coming from a confrontational way and not a conversational way. And if you're not familiar with the work of Marshall Rosenberg, he wrote a book called Nonviolent Communication, Nonviolent Communication, that leans into how to, communicate, how to communicate your feelings so you can be seen, heard, and understood. Let me repeat that. It's, it, it basically helps teach you how to express your feelings in a way that's seen, heard, and understood. And I highly recommend if you're choosing a relationship with a man that you both get this book, you start reading it together, learn how to develop these healthy skills. Because whether it's a, you know, when I'm talking about a high quality man, I'm really talking about any man who's really set 
on choosing to be with a partner and those men will actually invest into the work that you recommend because that's what a high quality man does. He listens to you, he listens to, he wants to hear your feelings and he's also open to exploring how to build the relationship much stronger. So check out that book. Okay, the fourth thing, <laughs> the fourth thing uh, is that we are attracted to a little bit of a naughty side. In other words, you have a little bit of a dark side. You have a little bit of naughtiness to you in the sense that you're playful from a sexual perspective, certainly from a complimentary perspective. In fact, even a little dirty compliments. Um, and, and I want you ladies know something. We men get about this many compliments in a day. We get literally no compliments where women get complimented all the time. What great pair of shoes. Oh my God, I love your dress. I love your coat, all that sort of thing. We get zero. So when you can compliment of us, compliment us, even with a little bit of naughtiness associated with it, it is actually highly attractive. And this is what we secretly want from you. And that's what this video about is what our secrets are that we don't necessarily share these publicly. Okay. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Please post a comment below if you like this video, if you've got something to share, if it resonates with you, I'd like to hear from you. Again, if you'd like to have a little bit of a personal touch, check out my link to schedule a call with me to see if working with a coach can make a difference in your life. And I'm gonna sign off this video as I always do, giving you a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug if I have your consent. Aw, oh, thank you. Mm. Wishing you a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.